friends and enemies, and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman, but they would not be the last. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. Lucky 13! There it is, my Rumi Mori, import-export magnet, one-time Pipex CEO. International arms dealer. The world sees Maury as a legitimate businessman. A philanthropist who gives to charity. Not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence. A masterful performance. I wonder... If a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. With you, I question whether Batman is the cover, or Bruce. Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Maury's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Maury is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. The bat computer can intercept his communications. Al, I'm hacking into Maury's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a bad... He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. Some place where only high rollers go. Hello? Are you drunk? You? What in the hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Maury. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Are you always this rude? Bruce. You think your gibberish intimidates me? Not him. You'd better gear up. You can't just blow me off. I guess that's my answer. No one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap, let's go. <sighs> Wrong. The correct answer is are you dead? <laughs> now, let's get started.
Get out of there. Get your suit. Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. Get back inside, or I'll... Commissioner Gordon on the line, scrambling audio now. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? Batman? Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. Please, please, we can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I'd choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this! Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone, fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that scratches at the very nature of our existence. Remember, choose your words carefully, Maury. You only have so many fingers. It'll be that much harder to count your blood. Cashier's booth. That'll do. But Just need to take out the guard you. first. I will get bored. You won't like that. Audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. What the? I'm losing patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman! We can't get in. The front's covered by gunmen, and they've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? Gear up. Make a frontal assault. Try and draw their fire away from me. <sighs> you got it. <laughs> You're completely insane! No. I don't believe that's it. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give them hell. We're counting on you. <laughs>
Batman! You're ahead of schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! No! Hiya, Bats. The Batman clearly isn't using his head. Break it open. With pleasure. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... well... since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you? I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge! This is my city! Now I'm back, and I'm taking what's mine. Either your thinking or your brain has stopped working entirely. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely at my mercy. I don't see much evidence of that. I expected more of a battle from you, Batman. Something longer. More of a match of wits while my men mop up what passes for law enforcement in this town. It would have been a little hard to deal with you both at the same time, but no cause to hold back now. You surprised me a little with how quickly you arrived, but just a little. Gordon, now! Yeah, here you are. to be kept. Clever, but not smart enough. Let me show you how it was done back in the day. Common street hood. It just doesn't do it for me. Follow the power lines. There must be a weak point. Follow 
through the power lines. There must be a weak point. That's cheating! Think I care about your rules? I'd heard you were a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Maury made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. Why wouldn't you just let him die? Tight-lipped or empty-headed? How about I crack your skull open and find out? Enough of this! You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. Your days are numbered, bat freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk-offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads. Tell me all about it, down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody? Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help. Dragging him down. He got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon. Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way. I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary bad man. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype.
This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them. Give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler, they're kind of our specialty. Does this one speak? Just say what you want to say. With pleasure. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back. And if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention that filth, Oswald Cobblepot. We could do great things together if we joined forces. <sighs> Don't worry. You'll come around. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut it. I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller... Please, Commissioner. What was that charge of the Light Brigade crap with the riot shields? Good cops got hurt because of it. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? That's what you get when you don't follow procedure. Good people get hurt, and the bad guy gets away. Thanks for the support. I know it doesn't feel like it, Commissioner, but I'm here to help. Batman gets it. I gotta get a security detail on Maury while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far, as a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Think you made a good impression, Batman. My boss isn't usually that nice. <sighs> I'd like to see her on a bad day. Special Agent in Monta Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it, he's changed. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. Well, let me know if you think of anything. It'd be a help. I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos. The energy. You can't keep away, can you? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch, Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. I'm not here to step on any toes. Treat me and my people like partners. Promise you'll share anything on the Riddler. You and me aren't going to have any problems at all. That's all. I just wanted to let you know where I stand.
an eventful evening. I have taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. I think a little classical is in order. Try the first disc there. It's a favorite of mine. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. No explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. It... it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. No, I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. <clears throat> Pay him no mind. We can discuss it later. It'll pass. Working always helps. The agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, Batman's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to talk to Lucius about upgrades. Try and level the playing field. Yes, Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned. It's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Maury. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The Agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden. To get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. Either that or a straitjacket. What was that? You should see your face. It's confusion. It's delightful. I think I'll take it with me. I take everything back. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. 
Well, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. Record needle. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. And don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear the city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually going to be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter, working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Town. Good hunting, Bruce. Oh, excellent. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprise's chairperson. I just talked to the board, and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with the GCPD is going. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Forget I asked. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great.
You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop... No, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Ah, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Look at that. Micropulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Tiffany. Hey, Bruce. Tip my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. Uh, thanks, Tiffany. I love it. <laughs> huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look... Out of it. Like you're not all there. Hey, play nice. Bruce has had a rough year. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? That's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. I'll take that as a no. For now. When you get stuck, you know where to find me. Whatever. I've got to get back to orientation anyway. Have fun scratching your heads. All right then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. I understand your hesitation about involving her in this Riddler business. But uh, you should consider bringing Tiffany into the fold. Into the mission. If not now, then in the future. We're going to need help. If we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. 
She's family after all. We don't have to talk about this right now. We have enough on our plates at the moment. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here. Sorry, but we need to borrow Mr. Wayne for a little bit. We'll give him back when we're done. Promise. Now, if you'll excuse us. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the agency's behavioral analysis unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. You'll just have to put up with us for a few minutes. This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe? <laughs> so happy. I'm sorry that didn't last. Yeah, so am I. They say children who suffer trauma spend their whole lives trying to make up for the loss. You're only, what, 32? And look at all you've accomplished. You've lived a pretty exciting life so far, Mr. Wayne. Yeah, it certainly has its moments. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? It's okay. You don't have to talk about it. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. We know you're acquainted with him, Mr. Wayne. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. Better not to deny it. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me.
It's clear you're important to him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. Mm, invoking your right to silence, Wayne? That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking... What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. I might still be able to disable it, but... <laughs> it doesn't look good. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius? We really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius! Oh my god, Lucius! No! <laughs>